I've said this so many times, the scrum guide is only 20% of the journey. The remaining 80% may be what you're missing. So please check yourself if that is also one of the problems. So if you're going for a two days training, that is not enough to be able to land you a job. Please know that and save yourself unnecessary stress. I don't know how else to emphasize this. You see, hello everyone, this is Karen from Marfong, your Agile Evangelist, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about some of the common fixable mistakes that Scrum Masters, new Scrum Masters make, which is why they've not been able to land a job as they have hoped for. As a hiring manager, I'm going to be sharing my insight information, insight tips and learning that I believe that um, if you apply these tips, you should be able to fix some of these issues and be able to achieve your goal. So you all can agree with me that um, new Scrum Masters especially, they are finding it challenging to have an interview to even learn an interview maybe they've put out so many job applications out there but yet they are not able to get a single call um and then we have some of them that will get those calls and that's it they are not able to move forward to the next phase of the interview so what is going on what is causing this so i'm really here today to share with you some of my insights you know based on um, my experience interviewing candidates interviewing scrum masters agile coaches release train engineers you know to get into the agile space so um it's very important that you watch this video to the very end i believe that if you apply the tips that i'll be sharing with you today you should be able to see some difference as you continue to um, find your way towards achieving your goal of becoming a working agile practitioner so please stay tuned if this is your first time here you're welcome. Please do well to subscribe, turn on that notification bell so that you will stay current with our contents that we share here on frequent basis. And also we have created our backup channel, Being Agile Consulting Remix. Please look it up. You can also check on the description box. Just click on the link or on the comment section there. Click on the link there to subscribe to that channel. We are counting on you to be able to grow that channel. Thank you so very much. So now let's get started. Why is it that new Scrum Masters are finding it challenging to be able to land a job? I'm just going to be listing some six specific reasons that I have gathered in my um, years um, as hiring manager interviewing candidates. The very first thing is that new Scrum Masters, they get into this space with the wrong reason some of them most of them get into this whole career path with the wrong reason you see so this new scrum masters they are struggling to understand the difference between really embodying seven leadership and just doing the scrum events so when they go for the interviews and when they ask them questions as they are speaking, as a hiring manager, I can tell if someone is actually a true leader or this person is only focused, is so focused on, on the events, on, you know, and that's what new Scrum Masters really know for the most part. And this, I believe strongly that this is caused mainly as a result of, it's been marketed out there that once you take a two days training, you're good to go you're going to start applying and you will land the job. So they get into this space with the wrong perception and with the wrong why. So yeah, that's the one. They get in there with the wrong perception and the wrong why to most people. You see, they are so focused on the pay that comes with that. Instead of really embracing this as a, as a, as a career, as a work, and doing their own part to be able to fine-tune their craft so that they can be able to deliver value to organizations they're rushing into it because they hear that um it it it, it has a good pay so interviewers can tell interviewers can tell when you're that kind of person because the way you will talk they will know you see that is the number one reason the second reason is that 
people get into this agile space start looking for jobs when they are not ripe yet so most scrum masters they've gone for some of them they've done self studies and then they've passed the certification exams they focus so much on the certification exams instead of validating their understanding of the concepts they are focusing on having a certification and in an interview when if you don't know you don't know certification interviewers are not looking for certification they are looking for someone to come in and solve real problems so if you don't have if they are interviewing you and you don't have what it takes they can tell and if they are able to to detect that they will not give you the job you see so it's not about who has a certification and who doesn't have a certification it's about who has an understanding of the concept do you have an understanding of the concept or you've only read the scrum guide that is 13 pages Look, I've said this so many times. The Scrum Guide is only 20% of the journey. The remaining 80% may be what you're missing. So please check yourself if that is also one of the problems. So if you're going for a two days training, that is not enough to be able to land you a job. Please know that and save yourself unnecessary stress. I don't know how else to emphasize this, you see. And now the very next reason I think is Let's say that you are good, right? You have the understanding, you're ready, and then you're applying, you're, even, you're not getting that opportunity. One of the biggest reasons that this may happen is your resume. Look, if your resume is not good enough to attract recruiters, you would definitely not be able to get a call. So no one will be coming into your head to know what you know. It can only be through your resume so please if you know that you are not able to put your resume together to be able to attract recruiter instead of spending months and months trying to figure this thing out on your own get help seek a professional resume writer i have good recommendations fantastic recommendations that are not even that expensive i mean even if they are expensive it's worth investing in it because this career is worth it you see so if that is one of your problems you need to fix your resume to align with what recruiters are looking for. You see, so most times I would see resumes that are really flat. They are dry. They don't have the terminologies. They don't have the skills. They don't have the flavor that recruiters are looking for. So please double check if your resume is not good enough or if you've put, so how you know this is if your resume has been out there for approximately two to three weeks and you've never gotten even a single call, then your resume is a problem. But if you're getting calls and you're not able to move forward to the next phase, then it's what you're telling them and how you're telling them this thing is the problem. So you need to fix, uh, check it from that direction. And then another reason too, maybe you have a good resume, but your resume and your LinkedIn profile doesn't align. If there is any discrepancy between your resume and your LinkedIn profile, you have reduced your chances to like 98 down that's what it is because right there already communicates trust issues. Let's say your resume, you've updated your resume to now reflect your new aspiration to be uh, as a scrum master, but your LinkedIn is still saying that you are a, a petroleum engineer. You are, um, you are, um, a, a, a doctor, something like that. That's already a discrepancy right there. And you know that if you cannot trust some, somebody in there, you shouldn't be hiring them. That's how recruiters think. So right there, you will not have the shot. So make sure that your resume and your LinkedIn align. Another common reason why um, our new Scrum Masters may not be landing the job is they don't know what they don't know. They don't know what they don't know, which is a big problem. So I, I said earlier that passing that certification or studying, going through that two days training and passing that certification is one thing. But really understanding everything else is another thing. And that certification, the knowledge, the theory from the Scrum Guide is only 20% of the journey. I've made several videos touching on this because this is how important it is and I need us to get it. The remaining 80% is what you don't know that you don't know. And which is why I'm here to help you understand that. That remaining 80% is the experience. No one will hire you without experience. Hardly ever. 
If someone is hiring you without experience and know that they are taking a risk and they know that they will be investing in you to give you that experience and hardly ever in this day and age that we have so many experienced scrum masters out there will recruiters, you know, um, want to take that risk because they are bringing you in to solve real problems in their business that is costing money, you know, and you know, money is sensitive. So yeah so they would prefer to go with those that have experience so if you know that you really have the theory understanding interviewers can tell i could tell when someone comes walks in and then the person doesn't have experience and then the person is interviewing i can tell so how to fix that gap please get a mentor you can never go wrong with a mentor a mentor has already done this thing so the mentor will show you how to do it and then with that understanding that is how you will go for your interview and then you will be speaking and speaking through real time problems that is how you will be able to land the job you see getting a mentor to me is not optional i say this all the time it is mandatory it's gonna help your life make your life easy the community you will meet and with that you know that being agile we have a fantastic mentoring program to solve this particular problem so join our community go to our website beingagileconsulting.com beingagileconsulting.com visit our website or check on the description box right there you'll see the information visit our website and check our programs and i'm sure that will be able to help you gain the experience you need and guide you towards um be able to succeed in your interview okay yeah so that's one of the reasons and then another common reason too is the attitude some people go for the interview and they are barely able to listen someone will say that they are a good listener but yet they will not even let the interviewer learn the interviewer is still asking a question. The interviewer haven't even wrapped up. You're already jumping and speaking over the interviewer to say whatever I don't even know. Don't do that. That attitude. So, see, when an interviewing panel is interviewing a candidate based on my experience interviewing people, there is a person that is sitting there that their job is to assess your behavior assess your attitude assess your gesture your body language you know because you will be working with these people and they want to know if you are that kind of person that they will have they, they will be happy to be with every single day so the attitude piece is extremely important what you tell them is only 20 percent how you say it the way you say your your gesture your tone of voice your body language is the remaining 80 percent that you don't know so they are looking into that. So how have you been approaching your interviewers? Have you been arrogant? Have you been not been able to listen? Do you really reflect seven leadership? Um, are you lively in your interview? All those things are the things that you should check on. Yeah. So that now we stand in. Those are some of the tips that I have for you today. So please check yourself, look into all these things. And if you find yourself, if you catch yourself, in this trap then then that we can help you fix it okay so that's gonna be the end of this video today <laughs> i'm wrapping up right now to catch up on something else but thank you all so much leverage that comment section to drop your thoughts and let us know what you think and if you have any contribution to make please feel free to do so thank you and talk to you another time bye